Hey, Kelly Sparta here, Transformational Shaman. So I'm going to talk to you today about karma. And this is, this one's a little like, mm, <laughs> because um, karma is a, prior, is a concept that comes out of Hindu culture and uh, out of the Hindu religion, I should say. And it is the idea that what goes around comes around is basically the concept, right? It's, it's we, we either pay for our sins, although they don't really call them sins, um, or we get benefit from our good deeds, right? And the concept is that karma follows you from one lifetime to the next, because in Hindu belief structure, we, we do reincarnate. And so that's, that's a basic concept of karma. I don't think that's going to be news to anybody because, you know, in the U.S., we, we really have a concept of karma and that's not a big deal. But, uh, you know, the karma itself is an interesting concept because if we consider ourselves, now I want to be clear, I'm stepping out of Hindu structure and, and into my own belief st structure, okay? So I'm going to share with you my own belief structure here. Um, and just from my understanding of how the energetic realm works. So keep in mind that any belief we buy into creates our reality. And so if we assume that we are ultimately creative beings and we are holding the world in a, you know, we are, we are creating our reality, then if we buy into karma, then karma is going to be part of our experience. If we don't, then from my perspective, we won't, okay? So it's a, it's a kind of weird thing, right? So now the other side of the coin though is if the people we engage with believe in karma, then those beliefs could impact us, assuming that we allow ourselves to be impacted by other people's beliefs. And you know, you'd have to, you'd have to actually opt out of that for that to work for you. But, um, you know, does karma follow us from lifetime to lifetime? Absolutely. If you buy into karma, then it will follow you from lifetime to lifetime. And so what you have to keep in mind is that it's, it's a belief structure like anything else. Okay. So if you want to buy into it because you, you feel it's important for life to be fair, and Kathy and I both had these belief structures of it's important for life to be fair. Everything should be fair. And, and it's one of the biggest arguments I would have with my father when I was younger. He's like, life isn't fair. The sooner you figure it out, you're gonna, the better off you're going to be. And I was like, but it should be fair. Well, should and do are two different things, right? So, you know, here's, karma is all about needing life to be fair, right? Because there's the duality belief structure, which is, you know, I am me and you are you and there is good and there is evil and there is up and there is down and there is black and there is white and there is, you know, in and out and, uh, you know, everywhere, right? And it, there, it's duality. It's the separation of self, right? But, but if you step up into the higher level of thinking, which is the experiential level of thinking, we are all one being having many different experiences all at once. And they are all just experiences. It's like a big video game. And they matter just as much as a big video game matters in terms of the experiences themselves. So, you know, you, you get killed, you have another life. You get killed, you have another life. You get killed, you have another life, right? And, and what happens in between is just a big video game. That's the experiential level, right? At that level, karma is irrelevant, right? So you just have to decide what part, uh, what, what, what level you're operating on. And that's up to you. You know, there's no good or bad or right or wrong about it, except if you're living duality, in which case you can make your own judgment call on that. But uh, you, you can have whatever experience you want. So that's my opinion on it. I will, however, say that I have met the gods of karma and I would not mess with them if I were you. So <laughs> just food for thought. And perhaps maybe I'm messing with them with this video. So maybe I'm in trouble. <laughs> I disbelieve. I choose to believe I'm okay. So I'll be fine. So the, uh, but you know, this is the sort of thing that, that you want to pay attention to as you're thinking about karma and whether or not you want to engage with it. Um, it, it can be sometimes satisfying to go, well, you know, these people are doing horrible things. So karma is going to come and get them. 
Uh, and, and if that makes you feel happy and you want to buy into it for that reason, great. Knock yourself out. Um, but you don't have to. It's not required. Okay. So a little bit of controversy for today's episode. Yay. I'd love to do that from time to time. It's my happy place. And uh, so next time I will see you and we'll talk about something else. I don't know what else. I, I, I'm not looking at my calendar, so I don't know what I'm talking about yet, but you'll find out when we get there. And uh, like, subscribe, and rate, and uh, give me your ideas for additional episodes if you have them. And uh, by all means, join the mailing list. My book is out, and you're, you're going to want it. It's the Overachiever's Guide to Nailing Your Spiritual Growth in Record Time. So get your copy. It's only five bucks. I'll talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye.